Dante Alighieri is undoubtedly one of Italy's most famous writers. To mark 700 years since his death, the Uffizi Galleries, together with Fondazione Ciere Firenze, is launching a project to celebrate the links between the art and landscapes that connect them. Places like San Godenzo, 50 kilometers east of Florence, an area between the Mugello and Casentino. At its heart is one of the finest examples of Romanesque architecture in Tuscany, an 11th century abbey. In 1302, Dante was exiled from Florence. He held a meeting here with other exiles to plan a return to his beloved native city, but it proved impossible. È molto suggestivo immaginare che Dante è stato in questo luogo, eh, immaginare il silenzio perché l'abbazia si trovava in mezzo al bosco, immaginare questi uomini riuniti nel coro della chiesa a parlare, a discutere, a litigare perché sicuramente non sarà stato facile trovare una decisione eh, unanime. The landscapes of the Casentino influenced Dante during his time here. A short distance away is the spectacular waterfall, the Aquaqueta, described in his 16th canto, even as that stream which holdeth its own course, the first from Monteveso towards the east, upon the left-hand slope of Apennine, which is above called Aquaqueta. The ancient beech woodland is some of the oldest in Europe. It is a protected area and recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The forests were once maintained by the monks of San Godenzo. It is one of the places of life, one of the sources of the vitality, but also of the economic vitality of medieval Italy, which relied upon these rivers, which relied upon these forests. Uh, Florence, for example, uh, built itself with wood from the forests of the Casentino. I'm a priest in the cathedral, and the beams that support our roof above the Gothic vaulting all came from the Casentino. Il Castagno d'Andrea is the birthplace of the Renaissance painter Andrea di Bartolo di Bargella, known as Andrea del Castagno, famed for his portrait of Dante. The ancient chestnut trees have grown here for centuries and continue to be harvested for flour and food. From here, it's possible to explore Monte Falterona, the source of the River Arno, the Casentino, where humans and nature have interconnected for centuries, leaving a rich and beautiful landscape. <laughs>